All right, in our video, we're going to talk about materials, material properties, how to use them, how to apply them, how to understand them, and even how to create them. So here's a basic peanut cam I've created. We've been using these all year. We know that we can right click over here and go to eye properties and go to physical. Whatever we apply there, you know, it will take those properties, right, of that material. So there's birch. Let's try that one and we'll go ahead and apply it. So the, the materials will change. Now we can actually create that a custom material and we do need to do that. We use polylactic acid or PLA quite frequently. Like all of our 3D prints are based out of PLA filament. The other kind of filament that's pretty prevalent is ABS. But these numbers change based on the material. We, we knew that though, right? And then there's some other things down here that help us too, like the inertial properties. So you can get principal and global, and even the center of gravity thing is kind of a helpful little deal. So let's go ahead and get started and show you how to create that new material. All right, so I'm going to actually just close out of this part and kind of mimic what you would be at. All you really need to do is have a part up. You don't even have to have a part on your screen. Just go to standard.ipt. So we're on a blank screen. I'm going to go up here. There's a couple of ways to do this. There we go. The first way is there's a little icon right here that's a material. You can click right there and go straight to this. The other thing you could do is you could go to Tools and you could choose Material. Uh, either way, that's where we want to go to. You can see there's all kinds of materials. I'm actually listed in my favorites right now. So if I wanted to go to the Autodesk Material Library, which is probably where most of you will be. So that's got our material box pulled up. Now I want to do a search up here, and I'm going to type in ABS. That's the material that is closest to PLA. So I type in ABS, and you see down here, mine shows up really pretty. But yours, you may have to, when it shows up, it may show up looking like this. Notice what I did there. On the name, let me zoom in on that so you can see it. On the name between here, between name and library, see how that icon changes? If I click and drag, I can make that column bigger. And that's what I'll need to do. I'll need to make sure that I can actually see the ABS. What I've learned here is I've got to double click it. Or I can go right over here and choose Add to Document. So we've added it to the document. Now what I want to do is I want to right click and I want to say Duplicate because I don't want to overwrite this because we use ABS. So I'm going to duplicate it and then I'm going to come over here and type in Polylactic Acid. In parentheses, I might actually put PLA because that's what we call it. So down here now, I've got that material. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to say edit. I'm going to have to change some things here. By default, it'll come up with identity. Polylactic acid is what we want. I'm going to select this. I'm going to control C. That'll copy it. And then I'll come down here and I'll just control V and that'll paste it. I can leave plastic alone because it is a plastic. We can go down through different things here, but we really don't need any of those just yet. We're going to go to appearance here. Basically, when you look at it, it's going to look like this. So the color right now of ABS and Inventor is this. So I'll probably just click in here. And if you wanted to do something, you could go down here to define custom colors. And I would get something that's a little bit different so that you can look right at your screen and you know. So I know anytime I see that, I'm dealing with PLA. Now for the big thing, we're going to go to physical. So now I'm going to go in here and it says information. Let's go ahead and let's change some of this up, right? For name, I'm just going to hit control V again and put polylactic acid in there. I'm going to go down to description and put polylactic acid in there. Down in keywords, I'm just going to change the ABS over for PLA. Everything else seems to be about the same, right? And then this is all okay. All right, but now our thermal conductivity, this is where things get a little bit crazy. So I'm going to do a side by side here. You can see our numbers over here. Our thermal conductivity needs to be this 1.044. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to change some of this up. 1.044. And it looks like I need to put an 04 here. And again, all I'm trying to do is make these two match. We're going to go ahead now and click apply. So I'm going to exit, get back into Inventor, into the material library here, and say exit. I want to right click on this PLA we just created. 
and I want to say add to favorite. So now if I look at my favorites, you can see I've already got some in here. Now I want to do this while we're here. Let's go ahead and click on the Autodesk tab here. So these are all the materials in Autodesk. So what I would like to do now is go through here and say, all right, what, what materials do I want? Let's go on down. Let's get aluminum 6061. All I'm going to do is I'll just click it and drag it into favorite. So I'll click it and move it over. Okay. Let's come on and keep going. Ash, that's a type of wood. We might use that a little bit. Bamboo, I would use. And all I'm doing is just clicking them and dragging. Let's use birch and let's use brass. So here's a big look at the overall materials that we've included in our favorites library. You might want to go ahead and pause your screen and make sure that you've incorporated all of those into your favorites library. We added quite a bit, but honestly, those are the materials we would use the most. So let's now look at favorites. So now we can see we've got a pretty extensive list here, but these are actually materials that we would use. There's a lot of materials out there that we'll never come into contact with. Okay, so I'm done here. I'm going to just hit the green check mark. And now just, just to show you, I'll go to sketch here, and I'll actually just create just a really basic component, or a basic part, rather. I'm going to create a circle. I'll make it one inch, and I'll extrude it, and I'll just make it 0.5. So I've got something like that. Now I'm going to go up here to materials. And remember, if I don't see my new favorites, it might be stuck on Autodesk Material or Inventor, right? So if it's there, I just want to make sure that I select favorites. Then I'll go back and all of those materials I just picked are going to be there. So from now on, really all i got to do is make sure I go to favorites, right? Here's polylactic acid. So I'll put it in there. And there's my PLA.